back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name's Michelle, and today I'm going to be doing a wear test and review of the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation and Concealer. So as you can tell, my face is looking a little pink right now, not just from the breakouts, but in general, because I just had to wash my face and re-moisturize because I had already filmed an initial, like, first impression starting out the wear test just before this, and it was not turning out good at all it was just bad and I don't know if it was just because I was using a super clean beauty blender and it was like soaking it up or if my skin just was being weird in those moments I don't know but I washed it off we're starting fresh let's go in with the foundation but first things first I really like that this comes in a pump it's different that it's in like a tube I don't really have foundations that are like this but I know they exist I just don't own any I also own two other Revlon foundations that I really like this one is really creamy and gives me more of a super matte almost dry finish so if I'm having like a super oily day I'll put this on but it's only like a medium coverage I definitely always go in with this on top of it to kind of give me the full porcelain skin coverage because I love this foundation the color stay combination oily this is in the shade 180 whereas this one's in 150 and then the new one is in 240 and since I've already tried this I can say that they all pretty much look the same on my skin so it's interesting that they're all different numbers all different names I guess I have expectations of this being like this because it does say that it has a natural finish so I'm looking for like a satin smooth semi matte kind of finish it has anti-pollution factors in it and on the back it says photo ready so let's see if I can get photo ready with using this I have a brush and a beauty blender which I just re what it was super clean the only product that's on here is the candid so let's go ahead and start applying again I'm just gonna do this super cute move right here drizzling it out onto my face and I'm going to apply about half and half and then do this side with the brush and then this side with the beauty blender so that blended out really nicely you still have a little bit of my spots poking through we'll see if we can build that up here on a second layer let me wipe that away so you can get a true like half and half with coverage without so it does even out my skin tone pretty well, especially with how pink it is, just because I was just wiping my face and cleaning it. Let's go to town. All right, now let's look up close and see what's going on here. I actually think that the side with the beauty blender looks more like dry and cakey in these areas than the side with the brush. So let's go ahead and smooth out these areas with the brush. I wonder why it's doing that. It's usually the opposite. But again, you can still see quite a bit of my marks and redness poking through. Let's go in with a second layer and see if we can build up a little more coverage in those spots. Okay, so it's not terrible. It definitely covered a little bit better that second coat. There is still some pink coming through around my nose, so we'll see if the concealer will help with that, and then, then like on the tip of my nose, of course, and then like where the spots were really red are still poking through. It looks much better this time around on my cheeks than it did in the previous trial, so I'm really happy with that. Maybe there was just something weird on my skin or oils or whatever. But that's why I wanted to come out and try it again and give it a fair chance. I'm going to scoop out a little bit of the concealer, which has the coolest little doe foot. It kind of like, kind of scoops up and then it's like a teardrop. I've never seen something like that. I don't like putting applicators on my face. I'm acne prone. Even if I'm putting it under my eye, I typically don't like touching the applicator to my face. It's just like a little thing for me. It's very rare that I do that. So I'm going to go in with a little of the concealer, which is a little bit light for me when used all over the face. So I'm going to use it sparingly and then blend it out on just the areas that I have spots that really need a little extra help. Because I picked this concealer to go with the foundation because look at the colors in the bottles. Like it looks a little more yellow tone, which I'm okay with that because I tend to have like more of a yellow 
under like neutral and yellow undertone the concealer is in 005 fair so i'm really working the product into my beauty blender like i'm picking up a little bit of a glob and then kind of allowing it to work its way into there before applying it to my skin because i'm finding that if i put like a little glob on my skin of the concealer it stays and then when i try to blend it out it like wipes away in that one little area that I originally had the little glob. So that went over a little bit better. You could definitely see a difference in not so much redness and redness over here. So let's try that technique again. It just softens its application. This literally looks a hundred times better than it did the first time around. I'm definitely having to work with this concealer and foundation a little bit more than other foundation and concealers that I have. But it's not totally impossible. Okay, let's do under the eyes because I'm looking a little crazy right now. Let's see what we can do with covering these puppies up. Okay, not terrible, very natural finish. It's really comfortable. Like I don't really feel it under my eye. It almost feels hydrating. It's really bright though, so I probably need a shade darker. When I first tried the concealer under my eyes, I set it with the Milani Prep Set and Go, but that did not work. I definitely still creased. So I'm gonna use my tried and true Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. I know it's definitely a little bit more on the pricier side, but I've had this a long while and I've barely put a dent in it and it works really well. I just kind of roll pat the little sponge that comes in it. I know it's a little dirty, I gotta clean it. But I'll just kinda like, and just kinda press it into the areas that I don't want to crease as much. That is not looking pretty. I know there is a powder that's a part of this set and I didn't see it at the store when I was picking up the concealer and foundation, but I saw Casey Holmes try it out and she really liked the powder. So I'm gonna run to the drugstore here in a little bit. Maybe I'll pick that up. But honestly, I don't know if I want to, if I'm really not enjoying the foundation and the concealer. It's way better than it was the first time around with trying this, but I'm still not, I don't know, I'm still not 100% happy. I have other products that I like that are drugstore that work way better. For instance, I really like the L'Oreal Full Wear Concealer and the L'Oreal, what is it called? Fresh Wear. So using these two together, I really, really, really like. And then sometimes I'll blend these two together because this can definitely have more of a drier, you know, soaked into the skin finish, whereas this one is a little more soft focus. So I'll kind of blend those together or layer them up sometimes to get my desired look. This one I still feel like it's not covering everything on my forehead. I'm having like these tiny little almost hives breakouts on my forehead. I don't know what's going on. I must have ate something funny. How about we don't set this side? I wanna see what happens. Oh, see my nose is not looking pretty. That is not attractive. Okay, I need to put a little more of the foundation. I don't think the concealer is really covering the way I want to, nor is it the color I need. Oh, see, I just touched my nose and it just totally came off. Oh my gosh. This is more hassle than pleasure. No, 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 no. Oh no, oh no. What is life right now? I'm having such a hard time with this. I really wanted to like it. All right, let's smooth out the eyelids here. Everything's creasing like crazy today. Um, let's set the face. I said I wasn't going to, but I lied. Let's use the prep set and go because if this creases up and I have to smooth it out one more time I'm gonna lose my mind look at it oh my gosh this is so frustrating I'm so sorry I'm being so oh touching my skin just took off all that foundation oh no this is this is a disaster just set the forehead here oh boy this is not cute you know what? I'm not gonna go any further with this. I'm not gonna do the full wear test. I'm gonna wash my face again and I'm gonna apply some other foundation because 
Like even the areas that I just set, I feel like if I touch it, it immediately comes off. Like is that me? I don't know. Like that doesn't happen with my other foundations. Like usually when you set it and the powder is on top, it allows it to like, you know, that's the whole point is to set it. This, it's not setting whatsoever. So this was a disaster. This is where I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna go wash my face. Okay, so I washed my face again, applied the same moisturizer, and just for reference, I went ahead and applied the Freshwear from L'Oreal. And it doesn't 100% cover everything, but as you could tell, it covers a lot more, at least in my opinion, than the Revlon did in just one pump. So I could probably do another pump on the back of my hand and go over certain areas for extra coverage. But, and look at how much smoother it is. Like, I don't know. I just figured I would stop in real quick and show you this. I'm going to do a little second round just to have a little extra something something in certain areas this one the second round i like to do with the beauty blender and just kind of pounce it into those areas that need extra coverage but see how it's not taking away anything and it's blending in nicely and i don't totally have revlon though i do still love my combination oily color stay so if you're looking for a revlon foundation go with this one if you're looking for a l'oreal one that's a little thinner feeling then go with the l'oreal i hope you found this helpful i'm sorry it is not more positive of a video i don't like making videos like that where it's kind of like a mm, poopy one i am going to be probably bringing these back to the store if not exchanging it just for a backup of my other revlon foundation and concealer and i hate being wasteful like that but I, that is just how much i did not enjoy the candid line but let me know what you think in the comments down below did it work for you is that the type of coverage you are looking for for me i like to have everything covered but i have a lot more to cover maybe than you so that could be an option as well so keep that in mind just because i didn't like the candid stuff doesn't mean you are not going to and um, see how this is just covering everything so much nicer and it's not settling into my lines see ah, okay I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face I'm gonna try out the new city bronzer from Maybelline in another video here today I gotta try something else and hopefully that works for me thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in a video very soon bye